even step inside and wrap your fingers around the steering wheel, the 2012 Dodge Charger SRT8 will grab you. It did me. This is Dave Erickson reporting for TFLcar.com. When it comes to style, the SRT8 has Fonzie written all over it. Cool. And the power? Buckle up and hold on tight. The 6.4 liter V8 Hemi engine can go from 0 to 60 in about 5 seconds. And when I say hold on tight, I mean it. If you like instant power at your fingertips, the Dodge Charger delivers. Personally, I have a hard time going slow in this vehicle. I feel like the 470 horsepower under the hood are pulling up my bootstraps to hit the gas pedal. It does top out at 180 miles per hour. As with most sporty muscle cars, the SRT8 sits low to the ground, which means low ground clearance. Great for taking corners, but not so much for speed bumps and some driveways. There's no question you will feel the road beneath you, but nothing that's too distracting, in my opinion. At first glance from the front, it looks like a two-door, but in fact, it does have four and room for five inside with plenty of trunk space. It's probably the most useful muscle car-like design you could buy today. I'm especially fond of the navigation system and instant feedback on the car's performance and handling. I'd say the 2012 Dodge Charger SRT8 probably most directly competes with the Cadillac CTS-V. It too is a four-door sedan with lots of horsepower. As a muscle car, it also sort of competes with the Mustang and Camaro, but the Dodge Challenger would directly compete with those two cars. EPA fuel economy estimates put the SRT8 at 14 miles per gallon in the city and 23 in the highway. I've driven both and I can tell you that's about right. This is not the vehicle for you if you're looking to save money at the gas pump. The Charger is a muscle car bargain with a base price right around $45,000. The Cadillac costs ten dollars to $15,000 more. Now my time with the SRT8 is just about over and I'm sad to see it go. But maybe our paths will cross sometime in the future. In the meantime, this is Dave Erickson reporting for TFLcar.com.